welcome one and all to the eighth episode of Tumblr. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This isn't Tumblrisms. This is Deviance. The first, uh, the first episode to be exact. This is Pump Me Up. And that's not a euphemism. That is not a euphemism for being excited. You may be asking yourself, as you slowly unzip your pants because you know what's coming, Jim, why would we be looking at DeviantArt? And what could Pump Me Up possibly refer to? Well, it refers to inflation, and I'm not talking about the monetary kind. I'm talking about a very special kind of inflation that's only found in the minds of degenerate motherfuckers. Now, if you were to go on to DeviantArt and just do a search, you would get 139,008 results for inflation, along with the knowledge that God is dead. For an added bonus, make sure to click on that box that says make mature content visible because you want it to be as awkward as fucking possible when your parents walk into the room as you're looking at this. By simply just scrolling through the results that you get, even with the mature content filter off, you get a good idea of what you're dealing with. Now, a few thoughts are going to cross your head as you're looking through this cornucopia of artistic talent. The first probably being, why on God's earth did I ever search up inflation on DeviantArt? That's going to quickly be followed by a sense of deep, deep shame. And that is how it should be. Another thought that will probably cross your mind as you're looking through this is a, a bit of awestruck wonder. That there are actually people in the world that masturbate to this. No matter how fucked up your fetish is. No matter how embarrassing it may be to you, there is somebody out there that gets turned on by this. So feel a little better about yourself. Now, perhaps, there are going to be a few people out there that are just dense as pig shit and can't really get what this is about. Well, think back to when you were a kid. Do you remember when your parents used to tell you to eat your vegetables to get big and strong? Well, imagine if your dad had said that while you had a massive erection. That's what inflation is on DeviantArt. It's your father standing there with a huge erection thinking about you getting big. So, what might help us to ease our way into this is a light bit of poetry. And as luck would have it, I just happen to have a great poem to do that. It's Inflation Day by Master Mind Taker, published February 8, 2009. I walked into my room, pulled out some loose clothing to wear. Then I went into my closet and pulled out a large tank of air. I stuck the hose in my belly button. I said, this is going to be great. I went to the air tank and I turned the knob up to eight. I felt the air enter my body. I hoped it would soon. That's when it actually happened. I was inflating like a balloon. My belly was getting rounder. I poked it once or twice. My whole body was getting enormous. The feeling was very nice. However, I was quickly losing mobility. I was bigger in width than height. Soon I was feeling lots of pressure, and my belly feels really tight. I tried to pull the hose out. Unfortunately, it was stuck. And now I can't move to reach the air tank. Well, great. Just my luck. The expanding feeling is just too great. I don't really think I want to stop. However, I'm starting to feel pretty full. And now I think I'm going to pop. Well, how about a round of applause for our poet laureate, Master Mind Taker. I can imagine the comments they got on this wonderful piece of art, this expressive piece of literature. They must have been just inundated with people throwing roses at their feet. Like Forest Girl 123 from February 25th, 2013. Haha, <laughs> this is the funny side I've heard of it. Good one. Do you think that Yoshi gets embarrassed when he poos out eggs in front of Mario? Sorry if that offends anyone, but I thought it was a funny thing. Haha. <laughs> Now, Master Mind Taker is a well-established member of the DeviantArt community. They've been a Deviant for nine years. Nine years they've been doing this. If you just take a look at their... But no, wait a minute. I do want to read more. I want to know more about that beautiful bee, Bianca Jubachi, pregnant queen. And here she is, Bianca's permanent queen form since there's usually only one queen per colony, and said queen is in charge of producing mass amounts of new workers, bees and eggs. Bianca is now pregnant permanently. Once she delivers, she instantly gets impregnated once more, be it by her body's genetics or other means. Poor thing. Can't seem to find much in terms of clothing now, as it would seem. Bianca Jubachi belongs to my... Well, that piece of original content is owned exclusively by Master Mind Taker. 
Bianca Jubachi, the pregnant bee queen, is her property, so don't use it in any other context. They have patented that, trademarked it, copyrighted it. It is theirs wholly and solely. They own it. So we're not just dealing with a poet or a storyteller. Master Mind Taker is an artist as well. I mean, just look at this beautiful picture entitled Moonbeam, a character I created named Moonbeam. The reason behind her giant tummy that makes her look pregnant? Well, you see, she is a young witch that lives inside of a gingerbread mansion. Not a house, a mansion. She lures foolish and usually bratty, never innocent or good travelers into her home to fatten them up and then turns them into food to eat. Of course, as you can see, that's sort of taken a toll on her figure. Her belly's grown so big for so long now, she's actually beginning to even feel pregnant too. I also wanted to take a shot at drawing a character on the side. Does it look good? Now, I'm not an art critic, but maybe some of my viewers are. If you would be so inclined to visit Master Mind Taker's page and take a look at Moonbeam here, maybe you could leave a comment telling them how good it looks. I'm sure they would enjoy the positive feedback from you. And don't be shy about leaving comments. Master Mind Taker is more than happy to interact with you, just like she did with Nintendo Duart 640 in the comment section of her DeviantArt page. Hey, do you want to roleplay on Chelsea Story? No thank you. Maybe you should rename the picture of Jubachi to Queen Bitch instead of Queen Bee. I'm just saying. He probably hung himself, Master Mind Taker. That guy is probably dead now. Now, I don't want you to get the wrong idea. Inflation art is so much more than the written word or something that's drawn by hand. The medium is vast. In fact, it includes computer graphics, like this fine piece of artwork here. Look at the attention to detail and the realism present. Now, this particular image, drawn by Super 526, is entitled, I'm Fatty Request, Arcaden Water Inflation Part 8. And before any of you fucking nerds goes into the comment section and tells me that's not how you pronounce the name of that Digimon, I don't give a shit. I really don't care. Now, sadly, there was only one comment on this picture. Ignore the levitating hose. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. It's not so much that the hose is levitating. It's what it's connected to that really has my mind running in circles. What, what part of the body of this Digimon does that hose drill into? Because there's really only one orifice at that end that I can see it connecting to and clears up why he's making that expression in the first place. Now, unlike our last Deviant, Super 526 has only been at it for seven months, but he's already racking up those page views and those follows. And what in the fuck is that? That thing right there. The thing that looks like Stay Puff got raped by the Michelin Man, and that was the ass baby that crawled out of it. This must be what it's like to behold the face of God. Words fail to describe the beautiful masterpiece before me. Picasso, thy name is Super 526. With such a masterstroke, with such a genius work before me, it's hard to imagine that people aren't right now in the comments raving about this. I don't think anybody could even replicate it. This is specifically unique to this one individual. You won't even find kindergartners with finger paint drawing something like this. It's, it's way out of their league. Let's, uh, let's see what some of the feedback is. I'm sure everybody is commissioning more of this. Gold Rabo Mario 2 writes, It makes me want to hug dat booty. Dragon Toad, go ahead. Note, Dragon Toad is not as fat as in this picture. XD. Also, he's not as human looking either. Lulz. Okay. Hug Dragon Toad's butt. Uh huh. I love your butt, man. Keeps hugging Dragon Toad's butt. Blushes. Hee <laughs> hee. Keeps hugging Dragon Toad's butt. Want me to make it bigger? Inflate the shit out of that. Get it as big as you can get it. That is what your audience wants. That is desperately what they need. That core desire is what lays at the heart of the inflation fandom. Of course, the fandom's much bigger, no pun intended, than just that singular subject. There's a lot of crossover. It's more than just simply sticking a bike pump up your ass and pumping away. Just ask Blue and Big. Oh yeah. That's right, you big blueberry bitch. You rub that fucking tummy. Oh, you rub that tummy, you big motherfucker. Blueberry. Blueberry fetish. Inflation. Male. Blueberry inflation. That's Blue and Big's I Feel Funny gif. And I think he's being very honest with us. 
He's probably the only man on Earth that actually gets hard when he hears somebody sing, Here Comes the Muffin Man. And he's not alone. He's got his own little following going on. Blubbify. This is awesome. WWE2358. I love it. He Super hot. Wish I could be him. Well, that's not surprising that he would want to be him. Just one look at this Deviance page, and it's pretty fucking apparent that he loves him some blueberry men. Some big old inflated blueberry bitches. I mean, these are quality comics. I could see this competing with Marvel. Or DC. Move over, Superman. Get the fuck out of town, X-Men. Here comes the king pimp blueberry boy himself. The king of pop. So after having taken a look at a sample of the inflation fandom on DeviantArt, how would you rate it? Well, it's very clear from just looking at the small amount that we have that it is sexual. There's no way this is a non-sexual fandom. Everything about it is degenerate, is all shit. People want to be inflated, they want to be painted different colors, and I urge you to go take a look for yourself and really turn the mature content filter off because you'll get the full impact. There's a lot of stuff I would have loved to have shown you but there's no way in hell YouTube would let me. This is the safe-for-work version of the inflation fandom. And even then, it's fucking bizarre. And it's not content just to be its own thing. It's got to fester into other things. It's got to be a part of the brony community. It's got to be a part of Pokemon and Digimon and video games and anime. Everybody's getting a bike pump shoved up their ass or into their nipples, and they're being inflated like a balloon. So if I had to give it a rating... I'd give it two blueberry bitches out of five.